Hello everybody, welcome to this week's edition of the County Seat. You know, we've got it good here in Utah. Energy is inexpensive and it has fueled our economy. But what does the future hold? Well, nobody really knows, but based on current levels of production and use, we're going to be woefully short in the next decade, which could lead to all kinds of problems like brownouts and blackouts. That's why Utah has taken a leading role in the country and has come up with the state's first ever energy plan. It has happened through a result of a task force put together by the governor. Not everybody's happy about it, which means it probably is a success. But it's important that you understand what the energy policy is and what it means. Here with that report is Malia Bascom. You flick on a light switch. You turn on your TV. You answer your cell phone. In an instant, each comes to life with the flash of electricity. That energy can come from a variety of different means, from natural gas and coal-fired power plants, to hydroelectric dams, solar panels, and wind farms. In early March of this year, Utah Governor Gary Herbert issued a 10-year strategic energy plan for the state that took all of the potential sources into account with the goal of creating new jobs, fostering a business-friendly atmosphere, and caring for the environment. It's a balancing act to be sure whenever a political leader talks energy in our current $4 a gallon of gas economy. Some constituents and businesses want strong coal and natural gas policies. Others want to shut down those industries and go completely green in one fell swoop. Pleasing the extremes is almost always impossible. But in this case, the attempt has been made to balance renewable and traditional energy. This strategy tends to have the same result. Everyone gets something, but they're all still pretty mad that it wasn't more. I think both parties feel like they got their say in it, but the reality, the, the actual steps for action to move forward are lacking in here. And in a lot of cases, the only way these projects are going to go forward is through a strong commitment on the part of the governor. While the efficiency sections were strong, the renewable energy sections need quite a bit of work and there needs to be a clearer and a better understanding of the cost of renewable energy and the benefits of renewable energy. The goal of the plan was not to please everyone, but rather to meet the projected energy growth demands over the next decade by balancing the use of fossil fuels and renewable resources. Economic development is paramount in the American mindset, and this plan takes that into account. Utah has become known over the past 20 years as a good place to do business. The governor wants that to continue in the energy sector and has made attempts to foster a friendly environment toward energy companies. But some of the industry feel that document goes too far the other way. Seven sets of buzzwords on a single page that would cause you concern. Basically environmental hurdles. If you look at the makeup of the group that was in it, it was very heavy on environmental involvement, pretty light on industry involvement. Funny enough, those on the renewable side of the energy coin had the exact same argument of underrepresentation. I think one of the big reasons that renewable energy was not adequately included in the plan is that the task force as it now stands, and I'm understanding that it will be expanded, did not include representatives from the wind, solar, geothermal industries. It's impossible to please everyone in energy, and while the governor's policy is sure to change and evolve in the coming months and years, both sides agree that the fact that a comprehensive plan exists at all is a step in the right direction, even though none of them got exactly what they wanted. We're thrilled that the governor put the emphasis on energy. We need to take it to the next level and implement it and refine this plan and really look at diversifying Utah's energy portfolio. It is very light on county involvement and the county has to be involved in these things. So it's a great start, but it's, it now needs to be flushed out with some real concrete positive steps forward and some real assessments of what the needs are and how are we going to meet them. You've defined what some of these are. Now let's actually start working on how are you going to go ahead and do that. For the county seat, I'm Malia Bascom. Thank you, Malia, for that report. We will discuss Utah's energy policy with the person who's most qualified to uh, actually 
address the issue. Governor Gary Herbert is our guest here on the county seat. We will be back for an extended discussion about Utah's energy future in just a minute. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration. CITLA manages 3.5 million acres of Utah lands with the express purpose of furthering the education of Utah students while promoting local industry, oil and gas, even residential development, all at the same time. Through the careful use of trust lands, we distributed more than $22 million to Utah schools last year. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration, building the state's permanent school fund. How would you spend an extra day in Utah Valley? Stay one more day. Visit utahvalley.com to make reservations. Utah Valley, bring everyone together. Take a look. Take a glimpse. Take a peek. You'll be surprised by what you find. Check us out at DesertPcomplex.com. Our phone number is 435-843-4020. Adventure, beauty, excitement. Tooele County Parks and Recreation. Bringing communities together. In order for there to be adventure, there must first be a land that offers it. In order for there to be discovery, there must first be something undiscovered. It's time you discovered Northeastern Utah's dinosaur lands, the trails, water, beauty, and history that have been 65 million years in the making. Take your journey to a destination where adventure is only limited by your imagination. Join us in Uinta County, Undiscovered Utah. 